Hi, this is Chong. Preparation for Healthcare Simulation Patient Simulator This video shares about LIPS patients' monitors and its operations. It is to aid simulations learners for upcoming simulation training. Simulation is a compressed learning experience. By confidence with patients' monitor, hopefully this will lead to an advantage of a value-adding simulation experience. This is a three ways monitor. It's commonly seen with simulations, background of emergency, outpatients, or general ward. Monitor settings are modifiable by clicking the top left three wave to alter the setup screen. Multiple parameters and waveforms are often set for critical care or anesthesiology scenario. Large number presentation may be needed for outpatient scenario. Upon various sensors are in place, touch or click the respective parameters for monitoring. If this three wave isn't suit the scenario needs, for instance lack of ETCO2 sensor or higher needs in handling arrhythmia, Touch or click the targeted row to change the wave for the necessary parameters. In here, the top two waves are lead 2 and V1 ECG rhythms. It works with 5 leads ECG monitoring system. Lead 2 rhythm strip is common to capture arrhythmia and lead V1 act has a counter checking ECG lead. Heart rate is the frequency of the ECG R wave within a minute and this is the audio cue of ECG rhythm. Next, upon SPO2 monitoring in progress, this is the SPO2 peeping which often set to aid non-visual monitoring. The SpO2 or saturation waveform reflects both perfusion and respiratory status. A PIP is linked to each SpO2 peak or pulse. So change in heart rate means variations in peeping frequency. Next, it is the non-invasive blood pressure at the right lower corner of the monitor. Touch or click start or stop button at the lower menu bar to obtain manual blood pressure reading. Alternatively, periodic blood pressure monitoring or automated mode can be set to obtain blood pressure with a fixed time interval.
In the lower menu bar, there is alarm silence and alarm pause to ease the audible sensory overload. To ensure the QRS and alarm volumes are not mute, so audio monitoring is feasible. Both defaulted volume settings are at 4 out of 10. The next three buttons are radiology, media, and labs. These are electronic folders meant to hold the required information for the ongoing scenario. Laboratory investigation may be flashed occasionally to support the simulations. Click these buttons if a review is needed. Traveling ECG is generated by the simulation system. If specific traveling ECG is needed, simulation faculty may post it with lab investigations. This is the summary of patients monitor for lip simulation system. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.